Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another Picos video for you here. Some of this stuff's pretty interesting. Uh, there's a few things in here that are not really game related necessarily, but I'll show you what I mean when I uh, get down to it. I'm going to start with all that kind of stuff first. I'll get that out of the way and then I'll get into the gaming stuff. At the end, I also picked up some Amiibos. I'll show you those as well. So let's get started though. This is something I actually picked up today. It was half price. Uh, basically on everything in the store at Value Village today. There were a bunch of games there, but I've been trying to avoid, you know, like fodder type games as much as possible now. I think sort of back in the day, I probably would have picked it up, jumped all over the opportunity. I mean, they had games there for like $4, so they would have been like two bucks each, uh, but like PlayStation 2 titles, things like that, and just ones I either don't really need my collection, didn't want, and things like that. So I just left them behind for somebody else. They can clear them out if they really feel like it. But um, here's something I did find, which absolutely is not game related, but it's just so cool. Um, what it is, is it's for cross stitching, which I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming it's some sort of, like I can t kind of tell what it is. It's sort of like knitting or something like that. I don't really get it, but it's um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so this is one that has Donatello and then it has like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, pattern as well in it. It actually shows like the 90s uh, and 80s uh, turtle characters in there as well, like the figures, that's kind of cool. And inside it has like the patterns basically for making those. So I thought that was really neat. Um, there's actually this one and I found another one which is Leonardo. So there's Leonardo's and that has another like uh, group type one right there. So pretty awesome. Um, for the both of those, I ended up paying a dollar. They were supposed to be a dollar each because it was 50% off, uh, 50 cents each. So pretty awesome right there. Um, I'm not really gonna hold on to these, but I know people are like turtles collectors and things like that. And I thought they might be interested in that. I'll probably just uh, throw it their way kind of thing just for fun, but it's pretty neat nonetheless. Uh, kind of interesting find right there. Moving on from that, I was in a Goodwill the other day. Didn't find any games, but I did find a couple of things that I guess are gaming related. Uh, the first one here is a monster monster cable, which is just like an Ethernet cable for um, hooking up Xbox systems to each other, so like system linking them. So that's pretty cool right there. I got that for $4. Uh, I thought that was a pretty decent deal for something like that. You know, it's the monster cable version of it. I mean, this is obviously back in the day, so I don't know how this holds up to modern Ethernet cables and things like that, but still cool nonetheless for uh, some time in the future. Maybe I could link up a couple of systems, I don't know, something like that, but still that was pretty cool for four bucks, uh, factory sealed and everything like that. And then also another monster cable that I picked up was this one here, which is an S video cable. Not necessarily game related, but S video is one of those. Uh, those things that you know comes out of some of the systems and sometimes it's the best you can get out of some systems uh, from watching Blast Mode 7's channel that's basically what I learned from him so I thought I'd pick up this one because it's a pretty high quality kind of cable monster cable so that's that right there that one there was six bucks which I probably should have waited because today it would have been half price so this probably would have been three bucks if I waited long enough I just didn't know what color was coming up next uh, which gets me into today's finds which were at a the same Goodwill that I picked those up from, except for on a different day. Um, these unfortunately weren't half price, but there's a couple items that were. Uh, the first thing I'll show you here is Overlord for the Xbox 360. Uh, this is actually Overlord 2. And this one here is totally complete, which is nice. Uh, a game I wanted to check out, definitely. The disc is in pretty decent shape, it needs to be cleaned up, but it's in pretty decent shape. There's a bit smudging and stuff like that on there no major scratches or anything so that's pretty cool um, basically you control like a bunch of little minions or whatever they follow you around and like do your bidding sort of thing and uh, that's how you get through the different levels uh, that's what I understand of this I saw some gameplay of this in the past thought it was really interesting and for five bucks I wasn't gonna leave that behind today so I picked that one up uh, moving on from there I also picked up the Lord of the Rings the battle for Middle Earth 2 and this one here unfortunately is missing its manual which is kind of a bummer, but still, um, 
a game that has is decently valued, that's for sure. And the disc is in pretty good shape as well. Um, and that there was also five bucks, so not too bad. Don't know a whole lot about it. Looks like you're basically uh, like a almost like a real time strategy or something like that. Just gigantic battles and things. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but like I said, um, something worth checking out. That's for sure. Uh, moving on from there, this was actually a while back. Those ones were at first. That was actually today's finds, but uh, oh no, actually, let me get back to it. There's a couple more items today that I found. I totally forgot about these. Uh, the first one here is a charge station for PlayStation Move controllers. Funny thing is I don't even have PlayStation Move controllers yet, but um, for the price, I figured I'd go for it. It was half price on uh, 10 bucks. You can see the price tag there, but you know, five dollars. I thought I'd pick those up if I ever get PlayStation Move things. I really do like charge stations for these things instead of having to plug them into the consoles and stuff like that because. You know, the console is not running and how am I gonna charge these things basically so um, pretty cool hopefully it's a good system I'm not really sure about that totally but complete box basically brand new looks to me so pretty happy with that fine for five bucks and then I also picked up something which I always like uh, again if I ever get move controllers I'm sure I'll find them in the wild I have seen some in the past but they were way overpriced so I'm just sort of waiting to find some like on the cheap basically uh, this one here is the PlayStation Move shooting attachment. And this is actually the PlayStation branded one, just like a handgun kind of thing. Uh, they wanted $8 for it, but of course it was half price. I saw this sitting there, it was sitting there for days and weeks, I think, pretty much. But at $4, I thought I'd pick it up at $8, wasn't planning on it. So that's pretty cool that it finally went on sale and uh, picked that one up for 4 bucks. Then uh, moving on. Trying to remember where I got these all from. Uh, this one I think I found, yeah, this one I found at a Goodwill. Along with, oh, this is a different Goodwill. Okay, this one I found at Goodwill the other day. Just a boy in his blob on the Wii. Quality title, that's for sure. And they charged me five bucks for it. So, pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, missing its manual, but the disc is like near perfect. So, I think that's actually an upgrade for mine. I don't think mine is perfect, so I'm gonna actually upgrade mine with this one. Um, and move my manual over into this one. Uh, so pretty awesome find right there, that's for sure. Uh, definitely a really fun game too. And moving on, at the Talese, I found this here, uh, FIFA Street 2 for the PlayStation 2. Not really a game I'm interested in necessarily. It's complete. Um, not really in my area of interest, but I'm going to be able to use this for trading fodder because apparently this game has a little bit of value to it, which is kind of interesting. The disc on it's uh, pretty decent. Looks like it might have been resurfaced at some point though, but still, um, all, all in all, for five bucks, I figured I would pick that title out. And then another one that I found, and this is at a Goodwill as well, was Super Swing Golf uh, Second Season, Season 2. And this one here, again, is complete. And I think there's even the French manual in here, so that's pretty cool. I don't see any Nintendo Club points, probably not uh, in this one, just because it's a technical game. So I don't think you really find Nintendo Club points in these games. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, still cool, nonetheless, you know, like a quirky kind of golf game. Don't know if I'll keep it necessarily, but still uh, kind of fun and you know worth worth what I paid for it. I only paid three dollars, so pretty good deal right there. Uh, moving on, today I stopped in. Uh, actually, I got these at the same time at, as I got those turtle things I showed right at the start. But these ones um, were at a different value village, but the same deal was going on at all value villages today. So I picked up a copy of Gran Turismo. Not that I really needed it. I just really I uh, want to get these double cases because uh, the one. I have for a certain game, I'm going to swap out with this one. So that's basically why I got this. Uh, it was three bucks, so like with the discount and everything. So that's the way that is. And there it is right there. The interior part of this one's actually cracked, but that's not a problem. I can replace it. The disc, I don't really care that much. I just really wanted the case. Um, it's in okay shape. And this one does have its manual, which I think a copy of mine is missing its manual. So basically, I'm going to pilfer um, this one, try to complete things that I have, and so on. And uh, everything else is in pretty decent shape on this one, so I'm gonna be uh, just basically using that for parts almost. Um, 
also something I got for half price. This has been sitting there for a very long time. And the reason why is it's way overpriced. Even at the price I bought it for him, it's not totally sold on it. Um, but I did buy it anyways. And it's Indiana Jones, uh, Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures. And it's the one that has a Kung Fu Panda also in there. This was the uh, pack-in version, I think, that came with a system. And this one here actually is factory sealed. It hasn't been opened. That's really what interests me in it. Originally, though, they wanted uh, 13 bucks for it, which is like an insane price, I think, for this game. Um, I do love the the Lego series and things like that. I really do enjoy those games. So they're just kind of fun. You don't have to like uh, worry about it too much, kind of thing. And it's just fun to kick, sit back, and try to collect everything, basically. Sometimes, and Kung Fu Panda. I don't really know anything about. It, it doesn't really matter to me. But just because it was factory sealed, I was like, nah. You know, it's half price day, and things were a little dry that day. So I decided to pick it up and. Um, so half price that was like basically like 650 for that so pretty good deal I think for a factory seal game and then the last things that I want to show you here pretty cool deal actually I wasn't really expecting these to go on sale as quickly as they did because basically they haven't been out that long but uh, if you're not aware of it you should be because they're all over just about everybody's YouTube channel at this point um, amiibos which are Nintendo characters that you can use in like Smash Bros and stuff like that for Nintendo Wii U I picked up a bunch of these uh, just the other day. The reason why I did it was Toys R Us was having a sale on them, essentially, where uh, if you bought three of them, you could get them for $10 each, which they normally, I don't know what the price is on the states on these, but in Canada, they're usually $13.99 each, so you can get them for $10 um, each, basically saving like $4 on each one. So I decided to jump all over that deal. Really good deal, I think, as far as like, these figures go because they're pretty new. Um, I don't even have a Nintendo Wii yet, so it's kind of interesting that I picked these things up, but um, it's just something urging me forward to go get one and to get Smash Bros, as well as um, just, I like the figures to begin with. I think they're really cool. Like I saw them in the stores and I just, I really wanted to get them for my collection, even if I never actually end up getting Smash Bros or anything like that. So here's we go. I'll get started on the first one here. I'll show you is Mario pick this guy up yep 10 bucks normally 14 so pretty cool and I'm moving on from there picked up his pet Yoshi so there he is there uh, again 10 bucks for that one their friend Kirby really cute then getting into the more extreme looking at Samus there really awesome Everyone's favorite elf, Link. And then finally, uh, Donkey Kong. So these are the super common ones. There's some of these that are ridiculously priced right now. I mean, if you find them in the store, great on you, but uh, people that are finding them, the other ones in stores are charging astronomical prices locally. I've seen people asking like $50 for uh, one Amiibo that it's just uncommon, I guess, things like that, like a little Mac, or there's a variety of them, but uh, these are the more common ones that you can pretty much find in every store. Just the reason why I got them though is that deal, and I really, really like the detailing on these figures. They're just, they're just amazing. I do think they're pretty awesome. So um, even if I never use them for their intended purpose, just to have them in the collection uh, is pretty awesome. So thanks again for watching, if you haven't subscribed yet please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.